Hello everyone, Ellie here. Welcome back to my channel. I was actually going to talk about this the day that it happened, but I got home after work and I was like, I'm exhausted. I really don't want to. So now I'm doing it because I need to get a video out. Um, and I know you guys have been waiting for another video. Don't worry, bullet part three is still in the works. I'm taking my time on it. I just... I kind of went a thousand percent speed on the other two, which they were good. Like I'm, I didn't like rush to get them out just to get them out. I, I really did put a lot of effort into it, but for part three, I'm just kind of allowing myself to film when I need to film. Honestly, if I'm being a hundred percent transparent, the script isn't even done yet. I've really just been taking my time. Um, and so just bear with me and just be patient. It is on its way, but it's not going to be out as soon as possible like the other two were and it also builds the suspense so you know it'll be okay <laughs> but let's talk about for this video i want to talk about the sso ai art situation that happened so if you weren't aware and i'm just gonna tootle around hollow woods while we talk about this Ooh, look at all the lights over here so good so nice my reshade's gonna flicker in and out, but you know what? Say la vie. Let's talk about it. So if you weren't aware, uh, two days ago, which was, what, Thursday? G.Dragoning on Instagram posted about SSO using AI art, and they actually got their information from another creator, which let me swipe and see who that was. It was a user on Tumblr with the at Yorvik Zelda, um, and they actually found this first and then told... Uh, um, I think his name is Cole. Yes, his name is Cole and told Cole and then Cole made a post about it on Instagram. So I'll show the posts. I'll show all the screenshots on the screen. They're so basically on Spotify, the banner for the PC Spotify uh, version. There was a banner of a band set behind a girl riding a horse holding a guitar. And at first glance, you're like, oh, that's just art. Um, but upon closer inspection, it's not. <clears throat> it's definitely AI and on this screenshot you can clearly see that not everything is what it seems at first <laughs> if you look a little closer um if you were to just glance at this it probably looks pretty put together but if you actually look closer it is definitely AI so the hands are not anatomical the saddle doesn't even make sense the keyboards and shading are not right no real artist would do this it's definitely AI if you haven't played around with AI before AI does most of the time not get things correct and it is pretty clear that an AI did it because it just doesn't make sense so why is this bad i'm gonna go ahead and read this post because these words are better than mine and then i'll give my input ai generated art is created by feeding ai images and art that an art already made on the internet by a real person not only is this morally wrong on stealing art but using ai deprives artists of employment a recent controversy where a company had to go back on using ai art is Wacom or Wacom, I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, which received very negative backlash. Um, SSE has recently let go of multiple multiple artists in their team, which is why this is so horrific. A large amount of their player base consists of artists and editors, and this is a slap in the face. I agree. Um, I don't think a using AR as a business is something that's smart, especially when they've let go of artists that used to do the work for them, and now they're just lazily using AR to fill in their jobs. It's just really sad. Like, those people had jobs, and they were doing incredible work, and SSO fired them and then proceeded to just put AR AI art in their place. So here's the extra information. SSO started using this as their Spotify header on December 8th, as revealed by the last modified date and inspect element. So this is not old. A few of the artists let go. Those are their acts. <clears throat> the AI header is only visible on desktop. Spotify, the company needs to take accountability. This is not okay. Update. The SSO team, one of the devs, I think, actually saw this. People reached out to the SSO team and were like, hey, what like WTF is this? Apparently the SSO dev that someone reached out to didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> they weren't aware of the AI being put on the desktop for Spotify, which is sad that they didn't know. Um, it just goes to show that somebody in the company like cut corners 
and decided to do it maybe with permission maybe without permission we don't know it's just unfortunate that even some of the people in SSO who work for the company don't even know that SSO they're doing that like that's crazy to think about that some people aren't even aware that the company's cutting corners and using AI to fill in the spots of people who had jobs like that's just that's so sad and really just unfortunate the dev said they're gonna reach out to I guess some higher up I don't we don't know <laughs> and they said that they're gonna get it taken down but the fact that it happened in the first place just goes to show that the company is cutting corners somebody did that somebody made that choice and it's just really unfortunate that that happened because people had that job to make art for the company and they were fired and to have AI art put in their place is just yeah it's a slap in the face absolutely I don't know it was just really unfortunate I think it is taken down by now we can actually go look let me just find a stopping point these lights are so addictive to just collect I could do this for hours especially while I'm like watching YouTube I just run around hollow woods and collect lights when I don't want to train because it gives you XP and I'm actually about to level up apocalypse which isn't that just the cutest name oh I love I love the shires all right let's go to Spotify and see if we can't see the banner okay so I typed in star stable Spotify and this is what popped up so this is the new banner art they did change it I wonder what does this button do I don't use Spotify I use Apple music don't come for me <laughs> look what it says up here Ver well verified artists I think they're talking about star stable themselves but it's different art <laughs> it's different art this is really interesting actually because like at first glance if you just saw star stable you'd think oh it's like stable horse <laughs> and the art is a girl like a fairy sitting in front of a moon <clears throat> excuse me in front of a moon maybe i'm just not familiar with like what part of star stable this is from but it doesn't look star stable brand at first glance let's see if we can't find anything else these are all star stable album covers okay okay hollywood soundtrack yeah this is all star stable related okay and then we have all the artists interesting about and then they have this star stable music is the official record label for star stable entertainment okay this is also i'm not sure what this is is that is that a part of star stable is that a comic that i just don't know about will somebody tell me in the comments what this is is that even related to star stable i don't recognize it i don't know but this is a very interesting picture a new like the new banner to put up so i wonder who made that if anyone knows who made that um or if this is a part of a comic or something will somebody let me know i just like at first glance i don't really see that as like star stable brand but i could be completely wrong because i'm not really on the star stable art side really um besides like instagram and players who make art so curious what this is but yeah they did change it so cool it's good though that they actually listened to their players pretty quickly and actually took the ai art down but the fact that the ai art was up to begin with just so it goes to show like i said somebody's cutting corners somebody's doing sh like shady stuff it's like they don't think their audience is going to find out and then that also extends to the point of like they know most of their audience are children and i wonder if that's the reason why they do shady stuff is because they think that they're not going to find out but they know adult players also play the game you know like i grew up with this game i started playing in 2013 now i'm an adult but like so are so many other people who like literally are in the same boat with me we see this stuff and we will call it out and it's almost like star stable a they don't care or they think that the younger audience is gullible enough to think that was actual art i don't know this is all speculation um this is just my opinion but it's just very interesting it's very fascinating i do appreciate them taking it down very quickly but the fact that it happened in the first place just rubs me the wrong way especially after the recent controversy with the whole star coin code and that whole debacle the support automated messages and the comment automated messages and then them trying to backtrack it it's not good timing <laughs> but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think um did you see this what were your thoughts it's just another low blow i feel like like they were star stable as a company they were on the up and up like they were doing really good i was really happy with the game i was like man we got hollow woods we actually have stuff to do we've got amazing horses coming out the quests are getting progressively better i i think i don't know and then just that whole controversy that happened over christmas and now this it's just like they really have to be careful and i feel like they're not being careful 
There are so many people working for Star Stable. There are so many branches. There are so many employees. Somebody made that choice. They screwed the pooch. They didn't think that, I don't know if they didn't think that the, like the content or, I don't know if they didn't think that the players were gonna notice. If that was the case, that's not a good look either. You know what I mean? Like, it's just very interesting. I want, I just, oh, to be a fly on the wall and just know that thought process. I really wish. Cause like, I come from a point of like, I just want to understand what's happening behind the scenes. Like who did that? Why did they do that? Was it just to get like a banner up in time? Like, we don't know. I guess we'll never know. Um, but the Star Stable um, media team did say, I think she said it was a mistake and that they're fixing it right away. I feel like saying a mistake is wrong because you don't search up an AI generated image as a mistake and then post it to your Spotify banner as a mistake. That is a, deli that, that is a deliberate choice. That is 100% a choice. Somebody made that choice. It's not a mistake. Because somebody either gave that person the go to be like, yeah, you can do that. Or that person thought it was okay to begin with, which that's a whole other can of worms. You know what I mean? Like there's there's so many different ways we could think about this. Um, but the fact that it happened in general just is really unfortunate. But the fact that they fixed it is good. I just find it really interesting. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.